So let's look at some persuasive essay examples and the perfect persuasive essay structure. Writing persuasive essays, articles, and web copy is mostly a matter of following a set formula, and in this video, I'll take you through that section by section. You're welcome to download Word Power by clicking the link under this video, a free PDF document that has lists of words and phrases which can be particularly persuasive when it comes to sales and marketing materials. Word Power is one of the resources of our full online training course on persuasion techniques, and you're welcome to check that out as well. Now, if you need to write a persuasive article or an argumentative essay for an in-house or external magazine, a web blog, or an essay for academic consumption, where you need to get your point of view across and persuade the reader to your side of the argument, whether it's to sign up to a service, buy a product, or agree to a political stance, these are the steps to take. Understand, first of all, what you want to achieve. You're not giving independent information about a situation or a selection of products or services and then asking the reader or listener to make up their own mind. You're making a stand and flying the flag for one side at the very beginning and then using the rest of the piece to support your claims. In simplest terms, you're saying why you are right and the other side may be wrong. Firstly, Grab a piece of paper and divide it into two columns. Now, on the left-hand side, you'd write down your argument. On the right side, the opposing view. Just write the various elements for the two views. For writing persuasive copy about a product or service, the opposing view would be the facts in favor of the main competition. You may have more elements in the right-hand than the left-hand column in the end, but don't worry, if your elements are stronger, or make more sense to the target audience, it will even out and will be in your favor. So go to the left-hand column and put the views now in order of importance or weight, putting numbers one, two, or three next to them. Before writing, keep in mind who will be reading the article and think of what they may be thinking if they support the other view from the one you are supporting. Can you hear their questions in your head? How can you answer their objections? As you work, Always keep in mind your target audience, which you should do for anything you write, to be honest. Start writing and open up with an attention grabber. This is a strong sentence that will ensure the reader will continue reading. It could be an astonishing statistic, a brief case study, a quote, or an almost shocking statement where the reader would think, ah, what on earth do they mean by that? Or how can they justify that? You need to imply that the answer is coming in the article or essay, so they'll carry on reading. Now, follow the opening with the top three reasons in your left-hand column, but without going into detail. The next section is where you'll give more detail and case study examples to reinforce your number one label in the left-hand column. The next section is where you'd give more detail and case study examples to reinforce number two, and the next one for number three. But we haven't forgotten the other points, because in the conclusion, you'd look to your initial chart again and use the three, say, weaker points you've marked, number four, five, and six, and very briefly mention these as well, briefly almost as throwaway lines to reinforce the top three points of your argument. So in your conclusion, you could say, and there's also points four, five, and six, but do it very briefly because you don't want the reader or listener to dwell on them so they can determine that they are weak points. In the final sentence, you'd repeat points one, two, and three, but you'd use completely different words to reinforce what you initially said about them. Don't repeat the same structure of words. Now, for the persuasive promotion of products and services, you'd also add a call to action. What do you want people to do after they have been persuaded by reading your article? Visit a website, sign a petition, write to their political representative, sign up for a service, and so on. Before you post the article or essay, of course, always proofread for spelling and grammar. I hope you found this useful. Remember that the choice of the right kinds of words, persuasive words, is extremely important. So I hope the free PDF document, Word Power, is useful to you. Click the link under the video. There are so many examples I could share with you of persuasive essays, 
but I'm not sure what type of content style you may be looking for. So there are many different varied examples in another document as well you can download. If you'd like to learn more about persuasion tactics and techniques, please check out the fact-packed video-based course we have. Please click the link below this video and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks very much for watching.